One thing I tend to run into from time to time is when I've got a server that is basically segmented from the rest of the world on a uh, private network with no internet access. When that happens, uh, I tend to see some systems that haven't been fully activated. So what I need to do is activate it offline using the Windows Product Activation Center and my smartphone. To do so, go ahead and I'm going to open up PowerShell as an administrator. And I'm going to use the SLUI utility. So as I was saying before, we need to use the SLUI utility. And we're going to use the option of 4. That should give us a special screen that asks us to select our country or region. Essentially what this is going to do is going to give us the proper 800 number that we need to call. So we're going to go ahead and go down to this U section since we're in the United States. We're going to click Next. And this should give us a toll-free number and our product installation ID. This installation ID is going to be between 6 and 7 characters long, and as you can see here, ours is actually going to be 7. So let's go ahead and call that 800 number. I am on my smartphone now. And I'm going to start dialing. And I'll be sure to put this on speakerphone too so we can uh, maybe hear all the prompts. So we'll start by dialing 1 866 374 2481. Now, in years past, this used to be a pain. Welcome to the Microsoft Product Activation Center. Para continuar en español, oprima dos. Pour continuer en français, appuyez sur le 3. To help us to improve the quality of our products, services, and training, this call may be recorded or monitored, and information collected on this call may be transferred to other countries. For security purposes, please enter the following number on your phone's touchstone pad. 116. Thank you. Welcome to Microsoft Product Activation. Now, which kind of product would you like to activate? Please say Windows, Office, or say it's something else. Windows. Okay, Windows. Are you at your computer with the activation screen open? Please say yes or no. Yes. To reduce your effort, we can activate your product using your smartphone's display instead of our audio self-help system. To get started, I'll need to send a text message to your smartphone. Carrier text and data rates may apply. First, are you calling from a smartphone? Yes. Good. Should I send you that text message? Yes. Great. I've sent you a text message. Just follow the link in the message to get started. If you receive that message, feel free to hang up. And I've already received that text message. So I'm going to go ahead and use my smartphone and my browser. It's going to send me to a special activation process link. Those last couple of parts make me feel like uh, I'm in a Star Trek movie where I'm uh, Scotty saying, Hello, computer. It's a little Star Trek humor. Some people will get it, some people won't, but that's okay. So the first screen that you'll see on your smartphone is you'll be asked uh, how many digits are in the installation ID. In our instance, we're going to choose seven digits. It'll take us to another page where we'll enter nine fields of these seven digits as you see them on the screen. So we'll go ahead and I'll type those in on my phone. Try to go as fast as I can here. I'll pause here just to say that this can be time consuming and if you don't enter these numbers in exactly right, the process will fail. Uh, I've had to do this many, many, many times over the years, uh, going all the way back to some of the Windows XP systems that I used to have offline activate. Those were the bad old days where you actually had to talk to somebody on the phone and sometimes couldn't understand what they were saying. You'd have to hang up and call all over again. Uh, if you had more than a couple of PCs, that could waste an entire afternoon fairly quickly. 023 three eight four one and that should be it so I'll go ahead and hit the submit button on my smartphone and if all goes well 
I should be told that, hey, here's another number for you to enter. But of course, I was sitting here talking and uh, I've mixed up some of the numbers. So I need to look through them real quick just to verify that I put them all in the correct order. Sometimes you'll actually be, be asked how many computers the software is installed on. That's a typical response. Um, as long as you have the proper key, uh, I've never ran into an issue where this actually would cause me to have problems, but I'm going to, I'm going to say that I've got this uh, installed on one machine right now. I believe the key that we're using is actually a volume license key anyways. Let's go ahead and get our confirmation ID. So now we can click on the next screen and I can type in the confirmation ID. So 134-260-445-480. O four O three six six five nine three zero two zero two two six nine five zero eight three zero zero five five eight two one zero six five zero eight four two three six. And as you can see here, it'll pause for a second. It says thanks. You're all done. Notice that we no longer have that little. Windows is not activated message down here in our bottom right corner. If you go into Server Manager, you'll also see that it will say that Windows is now activated and you're all set. Thanks for watching.